Jen, thank you so much for joining us in studio here today. Um, for starters, can you tell us what decolonizing beats is? So Decolonize Beats is an indigenous arts and performance series that uh, we started through Crushing Colonialism. Each event is just slightly different, uh, but we are actually putting together a lot of programming uh, for, we're calling it Indigenous World Pride. So in 2025, Washington DC will host World Pride, and we want to make sure that we have two-spirit, indigiqueer, disability and language accessible programming by and for our indigenous relatives who will be visiting DC. Um, and so we decided we wanted to do a kickoff event, and so we're hosting one here in Winnipeg on Friday night from 7 to 10 at Thunderbird House. Well, this is the first event held north of the Medicine Line. As you mentioned, it's going to be here in Winnipeg. Mm -hmm. Why was Winnipeg uh, chosen and what can people uh, attending expect? Well, Winnipeg has such a large indigenous population and so much arts and so much thriving culture that we felt like this was really the spot to have this. We also were here earlier in the year in support of Cambria Harris and the four missing sisters. And so we wanted to come back and also show support for the families of, of those four women, but also the families of our other missing and murdered relatives. Um, so we are actually going to have a raffle on Friday night at the event, and part of the proceeds from that will be used to buy some of the Amazon wish list items for Camp Morgan and Camp Mercedes. We also have an amazing coordinator here, Lorraine Clements, who is from Winnipeg and Nishinaabe and just has been remarkable and helped us make this all happen. Certainly plenty of great things you just mentioned there. Um, Jen, why do you think events like this are so important? You know, really anywhere that colonization has occurred, we can see a lot of the similar, similar issues, whether it is indigenous children in so-called Australia being locked away in adult prisons, it's our missing and murdered on either sides of the medicine lines, including south from Mexico and below, or, you know, it's our Sami relatives fighting deforestation. You know, the, the issues are also very similar. And so we really like to work with our relatives across borders and, and oceans and lands and really try to bring everyone together because there's so much that we can learn from each other. And there's so many ways that we can support each other and show solidarity and just enjoy each other's company and, and the beauty and the amazingness that is being indigenous. Now, one more question for you here, Jen. Uh, I'm going to go back to your first answer, um, just in terms of the D.C., Washington, D.C. event in 2025. Um, that's obviously going to be a massive event uh, in, in a few years' time. Can you tell us a little bit more about that and, and maybe why 2025 as well? Well, so D.C. will host World Pride in 2025. Um, so that's why we're holding it then. Uh, that is where we are based. Um, like I said, we do work across borders and lands, but we are based in Washington, D.C. And as part of the indigenous community there, we want to make sure we're really welcoming people and that we're doing things in a good way. Um, but some of what people can expect is we're going to have film screenings and Q&As with the filmmakers. We're going to have art. Uh, we're actually talking with the Smithsonian Institution about potentially even bringing in some more two-spirit and indigiqueer materials for the archives there. Uh, we'll have performances, dancing, music. You know, we're really going to try to to do a lot of media and arts and really highlight, you know, the creativity and the talents of our indigenous relatives from around the world, but also bring to light some of the issues that we're all struggling with that, you know, are so often not covered in non-native press. Well, there's certainly plenty of great things to look forward to now and into the future, Jen. We'll have to leave it there, but I wanted to say thank you. Miigwech, Kinanaskwitin, for taking some time today. Wado, thank you.